Adventure. Tonight's story by Dorothy Bennett is entitled Midday at Westminster. the compartment to ourselves, Holland and I, save for one other occupant. It was the middle of autumn, and as cold as only a wet English autumn can be. The man sitting opposite us was blue about the lips, and he had a disconcertingly fixed stare. His eyes never seemed to waver from my face. Holland noticed nothing. He was reading. I didn't like the look of the stranger. No. I didn't like the look of him at all. We'd been about half an hour on our journey from London when he suddenly lurched forward and clawed at the air. Oh, look, us. What's wrong? Holly, mm. give me a hand. What the... It's some sort of attack, I think. Yes. Let's get him on the seat. Easy does it now. I've got you. Easy. <laughs> Stop. Stop? Stop what? Going off. Mistake. Mid. Midday. What's a mistake? What's going off? Uh, don't start questioning him now. He's Shut up, Holly. Nothing. Achieved. By violence, realize now. Where? Uh, it's uh, set. Where? Uh, the uh, house. House. Uh, what uh, house? House. What's set? What's going off? And in what house? Uh, this mistake. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh. The words died in his throat. He collapsed against Holly and me. We laid him down as tightly as we could. He was no mean weight. He was dead. What a way to go. Poor blighter. Yeah, look, I, I, I suppose if we If you're thinking along artificial respiration lines, forget it. Well, we'd better stop the train, hadn't we? Or, or find the conductor. I mean... Oh, I mean, we'll have to pull the damn cord to get him. No corridor. You know, I've always wanted... Holly, did you hear what he said? Yes, I heard, but... If there's a bomb set to go off somewhere... Alan, he was wandering. Was he? Well, he must have been. Why must... Might that not have been a, a dying confession, an attempt to redeem himself before he died? People dies? say some pretty queer things when they're dying. They also tell the truth. Violence, he said. Violence achieves nothing. He didn't mention a bomb. Well, what else could he be talking about? Set to go off at midday. In the house. What house, Holly? Where? Well, look, if you think there's anything in it, the sooner we stop the train and tell the conductor so that he can inform the police, the better... Be questioned, detained... All right, but neither the fellow's death nor the knowledge he's implanted in your brain, if not in mine, will be our responsibility. Oh, grow up, Holly. It is our responsibility. It's ten o'clock now. You can't search every house in England between now and midday. The house. Of course. The House of Commons. Parliament opens today. Oh, yes, uh, after the summer recess, but... It couldn't be that. Couldn't it? 
Blast you, yes. Well, then? We've got to inform the police. Reach up to that court and stop the train. Stop this. There's a penalty for that, you know. You just can't go and You'd do that. You'd better get into this compartment. There's a dead man in there. Dead? Did you? Died in front of us. Nothing we could do. Heart attack, I think. Here, give me your hand up, will you? Right. Well, I've never seen a heart attack like that before. You ever seen a dead man before, God? You've got to try and get the police over here, because this man... You didn't have no cause to stop the train. Could have laid the information at the next station. Pulling that cord is a very serious step. You shouldn't have got just... to have the police now. Here? In the middle of a field? Oh, you asking for a miracle? There's a village over there. I can see the church spire sticking up through the trees. Little Beaumont, that'll be. Used to be an alt hereabouts. Well, we're not allowed to stop here now. Well, you are stopped here. Listen. You... We'll be taking the body on to the next station. And I'm getting out. You're not, you know, sir. Neither of yes, you. Yes, we are. I say you're not. You was both in this compartment. Now, I do. how do I know that now, you... How did... do you know what? How do I know that you, uh, you ain't uh, sort of done him in like? Oh, for crying out aloud, you fool. Would I have pulled that cord if we had? Listen, God. Will you listen? Do you know what that man told me before he died? I'm not concerned with that, mate. I'm only concerned with the fact that he's dead and on my train. Now, everybody, everybody back in these cabbages. There's nothing to be seen here. I must ask you to not to get down, madam. We've been moving along in a few minutes. We're up against a fool, Holly. Now, that's it. Get up there, will Nothing we could do about it, Sitting isn't there? Mind this thing. What do you got in mind? The other door. It's a small drop, then cut across the fields to the village. No, 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 we'll never make it. We will. He's forgotten that door. Listen to him. Yeah. Will you get back into that cabin? You there, perishing schoolboy. This isn't a circus, you know. Now, right. Hey, you there. Hey, you gentlemen. Where you think you're going? Holland and I jumped for it and rolled down an embankment into a muddy ditch. We picked ourselves up and made for a concealing belt of trees lying across the first field. The guard was left in a dilemma. He could give chase through the fields and delay the train still further, or he could ignore our escape for the time being and report it at the next station. He chose the latter course. Holland and I saw the train move off from the shelter of the trees. As it vanished, we began to run towards the church spire, which gleamed through a thin drizzle of rain. The next station, I'll have the police put out an alert for it. My word, it'll begin to look as though we did do the old man in. That's a chance we have to take. Come on, Holly. The rain had churned the fields into slush. Every now and again, a foot slopped ankle depth. Not the best of going. We plodded on as fast as we could. We reached the village. Five houses, a shop, a pub... A church. And a police station. Of sorts. They'll have a telephone. And so will the post office. If there is a post office. Come on, Holly. Looking for someone, are you? Are you on duty here? Minding the shop, as you might say. Aye, I'm in charge. Have you a telephone? Uh, Of course we've got a telephone. (laughs) Think we could function without one. Good. I want you to get straight on to Scotland Yard and tell them... Me? Straight on to Scotland Yard? You must be joking. Why joking? I can't do a thing like that. Sergeant would wring me neck quicker than he rings the necks of them chickens of his. It ain't in order. Order be blowed. Scotland Yard. They'd have me helmet for a pudding basin and me head inside it. Get me the sergeant. I can't do that. (sighs) Why not? He'd be going to beach him under Penyard for the day. Would you be interested in hearing that there's going to be an attempt to blow up the House of Commons at midday? What's your name then, eh? Guy Fawkes? Uh, This happens (laughs) to be true, Constable. Uh, At least as far as we know. You don't have to say another word, sir. It's very interesting. But we get a lot of him, you know. A lot of what? Sensation seekers, as you might say. Oh, that's rich. Are you suggesting we're sensation they, seekers? could be, couldn't you? For all I know. Oh, for Pete's sake. You know, these these bomb plots all day and every but day. But they do well, happen. Some do and some don't, as you might say. Why, even old Mrs. Jenkson, little Hutton, she came in one oh, day and she Mrs. said Jenkson, to me... Oh, little Hutton. 
There is without doubt a plan to destroy, or... Oh, for Pete's sake, man, will you get on to London? Oh, no, I tell you what, sir. Why don't you go over to the pub and get on to London yourself? Well, why the heck can't you do it? Because I'm not one for making a fool of myself. But it seems you two don't mind. Oh, excuse me, sir. That'll no doubt be the sergeant with... Hello? Hello? Hi, this is Little Beaumont. You what? Oh, go on now. Skipped the train, did they? Aye. Aye. Can't blame him in light of what you say. Uh, you can rely on me. Very serious, sir. I'll attend to it. I think we might be getting somewhere. I'm not so sure. Well, now, you're beginning to interest me, gentlemen. Oh, thank heaven for that. A call from the station down the line, that was, from the guard of the train you just stopped off. Described you well, I thought. Uh, did he tell you what In the ha- compartment with a dead man, weren't you? Only he wasn't dead when he boarded the train. That's interesting, too. I'm afraid I left to detain Come on, you. Holly. Right. You can't do that. I'm doing it. Look out! We took to our heels again. We got about 20 yards down the deserted village street when we saw the car outside the pub. A fast sports car. Keys in the ignition. I got behind the wheel as Holly vaulted beside me. That was too easy. It's the only thing that has been so far. Uh, Where now? London. I don't know how far we're going to get. They'll be an alert for us. We'll have to take the chance. Couldn't have taken a a more conspicuous car. Must be the local squires or something. Look, what's the procedure when we reach London? Uh, If we reach it. We've got to find a copper with a bit of horse sense, Holly. Uh, Judging by what we've just met. We've got to give it a go. Uh, I'm with you all the way. Only... Only what? We're only 40 minutes off midday. In my mind's eye, I could see the procession moving towards Westminster, towards the House of Commons. The Queen, who traditionally opens Parliament. The Prince, the Prime Minister, the distinguished gentlemen who were part and parcel of the procedure. And at midday, when they were inside, I didn't want to picture the rest. I concentrated on driving. Holly's voice was insistent in my ear. Alan... You're never going to make anywhere in 40 minutes. I can get within spitting distance of Whitehall from here in 25. And then? Find somebody to listen to our story. And how long do you think it'll take to find someone who doesn't shout us down as cranks? There has to be somebody. Listen, stop at the next public call box. What good will that do? Get on the phone to the police and... If that was a sample of the police, forget it. Oh, right. We'll get on to the editor of the Times. How's that? They can do the rest. But will they? But they'll have to. No newspaper will take a chance on a thing like this. I mean, not listening, I mean. It's too big. All right. The next call box it is. Call box ahead, on the left. 500 yards. Not much warning. I can't just stop. No, no, no. You just pull off into the lay-by. If you miss it, you'll have to go another 20 miles. Oh, damn these hot... Look out, it's coming. Fear to the Look left. Out. To the left. Okay. Great cats, I thought you'd ditch us both then. I haven't, have I? Got any coins for the call box? Not right, yet. Oh, my God, I have any notes. Oh, what a big hell. All right, Alan, all right. What about you? I... Nothing. A pound note and one new penny. One penny. One new belly penny. Now what? Maybe there's something in the car in the glove compartment. People sometimes do... Yes. yes, we're in luck. Enough? Enough. Okay, Holly, get on to the times. You know a bloke there, don't you? If he's still there, yes. Get to the top, however you do it. And if there's enough change left, try Scotland Yard. Will do. I watched him go into the call box. I watched him dial. I could see it all through the glass doors. I watched him put his money in. And I watched him hammering at the box that houses the money, fiddling with the receiver, depressing the armrest. With a sick heart... I knew exactly what he was going to say when a minute or two later he came out of that booth. 
It's useless. What's useless? That wretched phone. It's not working. It has to be working. Do you realize how long we've wasted it here? It isn't working. Got your money back? Yes. Uh, there must be another box ahead. Oh, Ten, fifteen miles, probably more. All right, let's go. I've just remembered. A what? My watch. Ten minutes fast. So what? Gives us longer. But don't you see? Ten minutes. Ten stinking little minutes. It's better than nothing. If this next call box is operating. Well, let's hope to heaven it is. It was. This time, Holland was inside much longer. When he came out, he climbed into the car and sagged with relief. He lit a cigarette. His hands were trembling. I made two calls. Yes? One to the Times, second to the Yard. Did they listen? They were wary. How wary? Are they going to act? They said they'd look into it. Look into it? Don't they realize just what's going to happen midday in the House of Commons? But... Is it going to happen, Alan? <sighs> Not you two. Look, all we've got to go on are the dying phrases of an old man and a lot of conclusions that we ourselves have leapt to. And you think they may be the wrong conclusions? Couldn't they? No! What else were we to assume? You may have meant something quite different. But Alan. we can't take that chance. No, you're right. We can't take that chance. Anyway, we've done our bit now. Have we, Holly? Well, haven't we? What more can we do? We can get ourselves to Westminster, to the House of Commons. What the heck do you think we can do there? We can see whether or not they're taking action, can't we? Yeah. Let's hope we don't arrive just as the balloon goes up. We're going to the house. Have you forgotten we're driving a stolen car? Uh, no. What about it? There'll be an alert out for it by now. We could get picked up at any time, and then there's going to be one heck of a lot of explaining to do. I know. And we know the way they all think by now. By the time they've got our names and addresses, etc., the whole of London could be blown to glory. All right. We ditch it a few minutes from now. And then what? Get a taxi. If we can. We've got to. And that'll get us to the house quicker than anything. I'm not sure we'll even get within sniffing distance. What with a procession and all those sightseers. Listen, the procession will be over now. And they'll be entering, won't they? Won't they, Holly? Just about. Taking their seats? Yes. How long have we got now? Not quite half an hour. Suddenly, we were in the maze of streets that is the heart of London. Suddenly, I thought that we might, we just might avert disaster. Well, we had to, didn't we? We left the car in a cul-de-sac, ran back to the main stream of traffic. Two taxis went by. The third stopped. We held ourselves in, and we could hear Big Ben chime the quarter. The police must have moved by now. Can't you go any faster, driver? Oh, I'm doing my best. But you missed all the fun, mate. Recession's over long ago. Crowds dispersing. Oh, that's something. If the crowds are... What about those inside, Holly? What about those inside? Well, if they haven't already started clearing the place, they haven't time to do it now. Oh, we only knew where the damn thing was. But we don't. Wait. He tried to tell us. He said something about a... a girl. A girl. And he was dying, and there are a million girls. Or was it girls? Well, what else? There you are, mate. What did I tell you? All over. Missed it, you have. Best thing you can do now is wait until they come out again. Hey, you. Well, where the blazes you going? Drive like blazes out of here. There's a bomb going off. You cannot go through there, sir. Place is cordoned off. Why is it cordoned off? A lot of important people, sir. Haven't you had instructions to clear this area? No, sir. Why? Because there's a bomb set to go off at midday in the House of Commons. If that's a joke, I don't take to it very kindly. Look at the time, Alan. Look at the time. I am looking. There's a loudspeaker van over there. Get them to start transmitting orders to clear. I'm going inside. I'll try. By what authority? You, Scotland Yard. Good to see your passes. Oh, hang it, man. This is no time for red tape. You don't look like... <gasps> Never mind that. inside that they're after destroying. Inside. Alan, it's only a matter of minutes now. I know that. 
What else has it been all along? Can you know here those transmitters, sir? All civilians yes, are... Yes, yes, yes. Who's in charge here? Superintendent Shaw. I've got to see him. Now, look, if it's any help, we're the ones who got the message through to you. Having trouble, Lumsey? This gentleman says he and his friend laid the information, sir. What can you tell us? Uh, I think the bomb's inside the building. Where? I wish I knew. But for Pete's sake, clear the house. That's just what we are doing, but it takes time. You haven't got time. Those that can't get out are being instructed to take whatever cover they can. What about your lot? We'll take whatever cover we can. You took your time getting here. Yes, but never mind that. And let's hope it's only a scare. Now you'd better get the Queen's coming out. And yes. And the PM. Yes, sir. Look. Full stream of people now. Oh, that they hardly seem to be hurrying. Well, it's no good starting a panic, you see. You're looking at training, sir. Your cars. We'll get them away in time. But there are still a lot of others to get out. Yes. Can you throw any light at all as to where that bomb is? Oh. Could be anywhere. Anywhere at all. And yet. Go on. He he tried to tell us something. Nothing achieved. Violence. It's said. Uh, Where? Uh, their uh, house. What house? House. Girl. Yeah. Well, sir? Oh, no. Yes. Yes, of course. Down, everybody. Get down. Get down, sir. Fat as you can. Better chance that way. But nothing's happening. It's going to. Big Ben. Listen. Midday. Any moment now. Last stroke. Yes, Nothing's happened. Nothing's happened yet. Holly, hmm. I know where the thing is. Hmm. I know now what he was trying to say. Where? The gallery. That's what he was trying to say. The gallery. And it'll be the ladies' gallery with the wife of the PM. And... They must have cleared it by now. But she came out with the others. Yes. And anyway, the thing's not going off. I wish I could be sure of that. Oh, by crikey, we're going to have a few questions to answer. Well, looks as though we might have wasted our time, sir. Thank heaven. I'm not sure that we have. If there is a bomb, Superintendent, it's in the ladies' gallery, and it can still go off. <laughs> even painted scarlet. It was in every aspect but one, like a fire extinguisher. A fire extinguisher is meant to save. This was meant to destroy. That it failed was due to the fact that whoever had set the mechanism had set it an hour too late. I haven't seen Holland since that day we accidentally shared a compartment. But I wonder if he's like me when I travel nowadays. When I travel nowadays, I make for the most crowded compartment I can find. I don't want that sort of responsibility again. Adventure is produced by Anne Freed and directed by Henry Duffenthal.